Another feature I really love is starting calls with audio and video disabled by default. This is a lifesaver for reducing the distractions in large meetings. Absolutely. No more accidental audio interruptions. You, as an admin or user, can control the setting as needed. We also improved the polls feature. Now you can prepare your polls ahead of time and use them during the call for better engagement. You can now also export and import your polls. So if you've got a poll you want to use again or share with others, it's easy. It's now easier than ever to invite guests with pre-configured rights. No more waiting for your speakers to get set up. Just send them a link and they are good to go. And another feature I'm really excited about, zooming during screen sharing. Now you can make important details even clearer. Let's explore more improvements in Nexo Talk. Kim, what is your biggest distraction? Sometimes there are just too many work chats. Old projects, distracting off topic groups, other Teams conversations that you just joined once to ask a questions, but I don't want to leave some of those conversations. What if I need them later? No need to delete the chats you've joined anymore. Just archive them for future reference. Among some really nice features recently developed by our community is the message search. You can now search messages in your busy chats to find links your colleague shared last week or get back to meeting notes from yesterday, for example. And now let's talk about AI integration. We're continually improving AI features to automate tasks and save you time. For example, sometimes there are way too many messages to read. That's one of my biggest fears every time I'm back from vacation. You have so much to catch up with, dozens of conversations, hundreds of new messages. But with the new AI summaries, you don't need to miss anything. The chat has over 100 messages, you can get a quick summary and decide if you wish to dive deeper. And it's not just chat. AI can also summarize call recordings for you. You will never miss a detail, even if you can't attend live. So you, Simon, will be able to catch up easily on your calls when you're back from vacation. Nice. AI-generated summaries from call transcripts also mean you can easily search through the content of meetings without spending hours going through the recording. And just to clarify, AI is optional and not enabled by default. You love it? Turn it on. You're not a fan? Simply don't install it. Speaking of improvements, we focused a lot on performance and stability. The whole system feels faster and more reliable, even during large calls. One key upgrade is reducing server load during large calls, especially for mobile users. This keeps things running smoothly, even with a lot of participants. And another feature I love is the new compact conversation list mode. It's simpler, with less clutter and easier to navigate. Perfect for smaller screens if you prefer it. And there are even more new features to explore. We've added plenty of useful updates to Nexo Talk. One standout is end-to-end -end encryption for calls. If your organization handles sensitive information such as legal consultations, executive board meetings, financial negotiations, or government briefings, this is a key security feature. It ensures that no unauthorized party, including your infrastructure provider, can access your conversations. Let's not forget the mobile improvements. You can now access chats offline on iOS and Android 2, Plus, the improved mobile device management support allows you to enforce security features like, for example, Face ID or disable specific app settings for users to ensure better control. All in all, Nextcloud Talk is evolving fast. With these updates, we've made it the most integrated, flexible, and secure communication platform available. To sum up, improved integrations, enhanced security, AI-driven efficiency, and a ton of new features designed to make your workflow simpler and faster.